Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> I'm on my way to get my daughter from school. And first I've gotta go gas up. I don't even know. Like so many times I let my car run out of gas where you know the, the thing will say like, um, like it, it's showing like zero. <laughs> so I don't even know if I'm gonna make it to the gas station or not. <laughs> But um, anyway, I know my husband's not far away, and so if I were to break down, I'll just text him and get him to come and bring me some gas. But uh, speaking of gassing up, <laughs> oh, I was up most of the night last night worried about my cat. He had been missing, or he was just gone for um, like a whole night and day, and which never really happens, not at home. Sometimes when we're up at Lake Burton, he'll do that disappearing act, but here at home in Athens, like he, he always wants to come in and sleep with his mama, you know? So I was just last night, just, oh, just, just so worried. I was crying. <laughs> I had gone to the neighborhood kind of behind our house that's through the woods and like knocked on doors to see if anybody had seen him. Anybody seen my kitty cat nugget? Oh, I was so upset, so worried. But I knew that I had, or I thought that I had heard him meow the morning before. I'm trying to get my timing right, but um, then I thought, well, maybe that was just in my head because when I opened the door, like he was not like he, like I thought I heard him meow from outside on the porch, but whenever I opened the door, like he wasn't there. But so I thought, well, that's just in my head. But anyway, fast forward last night, I just beside myself, just oh, couldn't sleep. Just had a, a terrible, terrible night of um, crying and <laughs> everything. So pretty drained when I got up this morning, pretty drained. Um, but so as I was like making my daughter's breakfast and her school lunch and waiting on her to get up this morning and come down for me to take her to school, I was sitting in a chair in my kitchen and I hear, meow. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like it sounded like he was in the house with me. Y'all, lo and behold, this cat, Nugget, he was under the house, like in the crawl space. And I guess he'd been there for a couple of days, <laughs> stuck. Like he got himself in there, but he couldn't get back out. Cause the way the little uh, door that goes under our porch, like my husband had screwed in one side of it and didn't screw in the other side. And Nugget was able to, I'm guessing he was able to kind of pull one corner open and he got under the porch, I mean, under the house, and, but then he couldn't push it to get back out, so that's where he was. I could hear him meowing from under the floor, <laughs> so, so, all my crying and not sleeping last night, I mean, could have been handled, I mean, would have never happened had I just thought to look under the house, like, I kind of know that he likes to go there, so I should have, I should have, I should have checked, checked that out. And so, anyway, so that's the good news is that Nugget is safe and back home with his mama. He's as I left the house right now, he was just sitting in my little swivel awful office chair, and um, all snuggled in and asleep and so happy. Um, so he's all good, and I'm better. Well. Because I didn't sleep, because I was so drained from crying, I had a really bad headache this morning and was very groggy and sleepy. I also have to take, uh, right now I'm having to take blood pressure medicine. I try not to take it. I've been like halving the pills um, to try to like wean off and see that it, if I can correct my issue with my blood pressure without pharmaceuticals. But for right now, I'm on them. And last night I didn't take them like I normally do when I go to bed. So this morning I was also like crazy, like shaky, um, and had very, very high blood pressure when I woke up this morning. So I felt horrible. 
So, because I took my meds <laughs> um, early this morning, they always make me like really drowsy. So because I took them this morning instead of taking them at night like I normally do, I was drowsy all day today. So I, after I took my daughter to school, came home, got in the bed, and I slept from like 8 a.m. to like almost one o'clock this afternoon. That is not like me at all. But I guess my body, just like this car, <laughs> needed to gas up. It needed to refuel. And um, I feel, I'm feeling better now. I'm really looking forward to going to bed tonight. I'm going to cook a little supper this evening. Eat by 7, 7.30 probably watch about to sneeze y'all sorry <laughs> I probably won't even be able to edit it out because I don't know how <laughs> I don't really know how to edit out stuff um well I uh forgot what I was talking about oh yeah so after supper tonight my husband and I've been watching a show on it's on CBS, but we get it on um, Paramount Plus, um, called Ghosts, G-H-O-S-T-S. Y'all, if you haven't seen it before, it's really, really kind of neat. Like, it's like, you know, it's, it's a bunch of um, different ghosts from different eras that all died at this one location. And it just makes me think about like where I live um, and all the, uh, the history of the land um, where I, we built our house. And because I, have, I have a couple of ghosts <laughs> in our house. I mean, occasionally I will actually see them sitting on the sofa watching TV with us. <laughs> and there was an episode, one of the last episodes we saw, the ghosts were like, really upset because I think the the owner of the house that they're all haunting was going to maybe not pay the cable bill or something and they were like no don't get rid of our TV <laughs> like oh my gosh when my when my husband and I saw that part of that episode we both looked at each other I was like yep because I have there's a, a ghost couple I I I assume they're a couple. It's like a man and a woman and they sit on the sofa in our den a lot of times when we're in there and they're just like watching TV along with us. It is used to really creep me out and now it's, I don't know, it doesn't really bother me anymore. They don't scare me or anything. And now that the show has really kind of brought a lot of light to, um, to my own <laughs> hates that live in my house. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so if any of you are afraid of ghosts, it might be a good show for you to watch. It's it's really kind of funny, but um, yeah, it, it totally makes a lot of sense to me, a whole lot. So anyway, I know I am all over the place today, but I am, like I said, <sighs> drained. And I got refueled a little bit with the sleep. I'm gonna refuel in a little while with a really good supper and get some really good sleep tonight knowing that my kitty cat is safe <laughs> at home with me. He'll probably sleep with me tonight. And maybe, maybe I'll be more focused tomorrow because right now it is really hard for me to focus on anything. <sighs> so anyway. Hope everybody's doing well. I just wanted to chime in and say hello. And um, y'all, I'm about to be at the gas station. I made it. So, you know, I'm running on empty, y'all. <laughs> My car is running on empty. I'm running on empty. And uh, tomorrow is another day, right? Yes, Scarlett, tomorrow is another day. Oh, and tomorrow, afternoon, hopefully before sunset, 
I am going to be headed up to Lake Burton again. So hopefully I'll be able to share some shenanigans from up at the lake. I think the weather is going to be really pretty. It's going to be really cold, but it's going to be sunshiny tomorrow. So anyway, I hope to make it up before sunset and I've got a couple of cemeteries that I'm going to check out. So anyway, maybe I'll bring y'all along with me too. There's two cemeteries. One of them I don't know the name of. And then one of them is called the Frady Cemetery. And, uh, yes, yes, yes. So, fun times ahead for the weekend. And I'm not going to fall this time, y'all. I'm not going to fall. However, on another, another time, I do want to share that I really believe that my fall that I talked about on one of my prior episodes videos um i believe is it's a spiritual attack i believe that i <laughs> was being attacked because it just really doesn't make a whole lot of sense like how i feel just really doesn't and it's not the only um thing it's not the first time that i have um encountered some strange strange uh falls scratches um things like that of that nature so anyway uh that's my story and i'm sticking to it <laughs> i'm at the gas station now i'm at the qt and it's going to be good to have a full tank in my car i will drive a lot more at ease and um, tomorrow after i have a full belly and a full night's sleep i will hopefully focus um and get along with my day and share uh, more meaningful things than what I'm sharing right now and just be more at focus and you know with my full take anyway I love you all and I hope that everyone's having a great Thursday um, I know um, there's a whole lot of uh, people watching from I've noticed that from all over the world now it's really cool like really really cool um, it just really humbles me to know that that um i have friends now all over the world so from my heart to yours love you and uh have a great evening bye